me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad good you guys it's your girl cc aka cecilia robinson aka cc reacts and i want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today before we get started i need for you guys to like subscribe and share the video <laughs> also please hit that bell so you know when i'm coming on listen i'm gonna ask you guys i really really need y'all to share the videos youtube be on so much bs with me hiding the content people don't know i post it share the videos you know what i'm saying be a friend let people know, you know, what's going on. Also, I want to say this. Um, I heard you guys request. I listened and I've developed something brand new for you guys. The How Did I Become a Criminal series is now available to see have members only. You guys have been rocking with me. Y'all have followed me through my whole prison journey. Now, hear the story on how all of that um, came to life. How did I take those steps in order for me to go to prison? Yes, it's available now on the Sea Hive. This is the first of several series that's coming to the Sea Hive. Listen, it's some fire content, and you guys will not be disappointed. So anybody who hasn't joined the Sea Hive, listen, if you want more stories from me, the Sea Hive is where you need to be at. And if you want to hear how I end up going to prison, check out how I became a criminal. Sign up. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And once again, thank each and every one of you. Now I want y'all to sit back, relax, and enjoy this fire content, this fire episode, and y'all be smooth. Have a dope day. Y'all listen, I do not like feeling bad about something I did not do. Miss C and Mike had a big attitude in me. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. Miss C did not have to go up into that restaurant. When you see somebody running, you run too. I jumped in the car. I dove in. Dove. I dived in. When you see me do that, I told you to pull off. You know what I'm saying? When you said what? I said pull off. I said pull off not one, not two, but three times. She chose to get out the van. She chose to leave safety. So she chose to get punched in the mouth. It is what it is. Even Mike, check this out. I understand he thought he was doing the right thing. But a couple of things could have been different and the whole situation could have went different. Check this out. When he seen dude was on BS, like I seen dude was on BS, I don't think he had to say, well, see, come on, this don't seem right. You know what I'm saying? Instead, he want to stand there and look the man in his face and tell him what he think of him and he probably trying to do accuse him you know what i'm saying you ain't seen him do nothing illegal how you accusing that man you know it, it, it reminds me of the people in my comment section they just say anything about me how we go that's another time um so they got beat up you know what i'm saying now he beat y'all up not me you know what i'm saying i tried to leave y'all but i didn't but once again y'all got an attitude at me they got an attitude at me you know what I'm saying? So I feel bad because they got beat up. It is what it is. The next day when I got up, um, I decided I was going to go get me some breakfast. And I was going to go ahead and I was going to go find a apology gift. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to apologize. A fake apology. Because I didn't, I didn't feel sorry for anything. Y'all got what y'all deserve. It is what it is. Um, but I still wanted to be cool with them. You know, I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to be a good, they was cool people. I didn't want to burn no bridge. It is what it is. So I decided to go get me some breakfast and I want to go get them this gift. Um, I got up, I put on some really cute clothes, a nice little blaze, a nice little shirt. Put on me some pants. I decided I was not going to dress in a uh, subway uniform, even though I had to go to work later on. Nice little joints. I didn't feel like it. I just did not feel like it. I wanted to be me. I wanted to be free. I wanted to be CC in subway, not CC who work at subway. That's the way I wanted to be. Um, so when I'm walking down Center Ave, um, I'm walking, man, of my business. It's a lot of people out on the street. It's a nice day outside, even though it's early. Um, people are being busy going about their business. You see, like, homeless people. You see people at the bus stop. You see people on bikes, people jogging. It's a lot of traffic. You see all this. What else I see? I see a squad car 
creeping up on the side of me. Now, I got to be honest with y'all. I do not like the police like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I see squad cars pull up on the side of me, I get nervous. Even though I ain't did a thing, I still get nervous. I done been in the back of police cars, paddy wagons, police vans, transportation vans. I don't want nothing to do with those vehicles. You know what I'm saying? Um, So, I don't want to look over there in, in, in a police car. I don't want to make no eye contact with no police. Not on purpose. No way. You know what I'm saying? Um, So, I keep my head forward. And I'm walking, and I'm walking, and the more I walk, the more this squad car creeps beside me. So, finally, I stopped because he wasn't stopping. You know what I'm saying? Finally, I stopped, and I wanted to see if he was going to keep going on, but he stopped too. So, I look over there, and it's all the time. It's Juan. You know what I'm saying? So, he got a nice little handsome, cute little smile, except for them teeth. Them teeth. Um, He's smiling at me. I just want him to really close his mouth, but he didn't eat. Where you going? I was like, I'm getting ready to go get me something to eat. You know, he leaning all over the passenger seat and everything. He, man, come here. Come here. Why are you all the way over there? Um, I didn't want to tell him why I was over there, but I'm going to tell y'all. I did not go over there to that squad car for a couple of different reasons. One, I don't want nobody in this world seeing me bent over, ass tooted up, um, and a body inside of a squad car. That's just not the image I want to paint for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, I don't want people that's around. It's be a lot of little activity going on in Shady Side. I did not want people that's around thinking that I'm dropping a dime on them, knowing I don't even know them. You know what I'm saying? But anytime you see somebody talking to the police, you swept down, they telling on you. Because everybody swept down, they kingpins. You know what I'm saying? You are selling body oils. You are not a kingpin. Have it go. Have it go. I stood in the center of the sidewalk, you know what I'm saying, and had this conversation. Because to people who's just driving past, it seems like this offer is pestering me. You know what I'm saying? So people who got an earshot, they already knew what was on, but mind your damn business. It is what it is. So <laughs> so um, he telling me, he was like, man, I just got work. He said, I just got work, and um, I'm hungry too. He was like, man, jump in. Let's go get something to eat. I'll take you to get something to eat. I said, I'm, I'm not jumping in no squad car. I didn't want to tell him that I know how my knees be pressed up the back uh, against the back of them seats you know what I'm saying and I, I know like my, my booty is still tender my cheeks is still tender from last time I was inside a, a, a police car it's like my, my, boot, my, my booty cheeks have memory foam you know what I'm saying like they know how it feel I don't want that feeling right now I'm free I'm not free but I'm free I'm not getting inside your squad car, sir. I tell him that's not what I want to do. Another thing, I'm not finna walk around with you while you in your uniform. I don't want nobody in this world seeing me walk around with no cop. I gotta be honest with y'all. When when we when I chose my life and you chose your life, you chose your track. And I chose man. And I'm sticking with man. You gotta stick with yours. You know what I'm saying? We could come together and get some of that thing, but ain't nothing more. Ain't nothing more. You know, and plus, I got to be honest with y'all, just between us, um, I was just trying to get my feet wet. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get my feet wet back on the dating scene or, you know, talking back to ni niggas for the simple fact. I've been bulldagging. I've been bulldagging for three years. I've been chasing a monkey around, around the, the yard. You know what I'm saying? I've been, been, been cheated on by the best circus animals and zoo animals. Listen, I'm trying to get some normality back around here. That's it. That's all. But you are here for a good time, not a long time. So certain things I don't want to do with him. It just is what it is. Have it go. While we, you know, while we having this small little discussion, I see this old woman across the street. She's pacing back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Um, for one, I don't know if this lady is old or young because she got on a flop hat. It's a green flop hat. You know what I'm saying? With little flowers and stuff on it, and it's it's covering her face. But and she's pacing. But she not pacing no long distance, man. You, this we on the street. She only pacing a short distance, and it's it's right there directly across from me. Not only do she got out that on, but she got on this green uh, flower dress that's too big. And I see she got on some 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 pants up under the dress, and I see a little dirty t-shirt. Then I look, and I look, and I'm like, when she, you know, she turned back around, I see the little bushel, the ant bushel beard. I'm like, that's not an old woman. That's me. So, I don't want to be like, you know, I ain't trying to blow up his spot. But I'm like, oh, he in disguise. But see, see, y'all, I seen somebody in my comments say, see, see, getting a chance. You give him a chance, damn it. You give him a chance. 
You let them steal all your furniture and your shoes and the soul out your shoes. You give them a chance. And this is another reason why I don't mess with Nate. First of all, two days ago, you came up in there and gave me a whole speech about, you know, you held me down and all this and how you was getting ready to go to rehab. But you're a liar. Not only are you a crackhead, but you a liar. You know what I'm saying? You over there, somebody disguised like you a secret Asian man. It is what it is. So I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, this dude is a nut. Have it go. One see me looking, you know, across the street. He look, you know, I get his attention back. What you looking over there for? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm who got your attention across the street. I'm right here. You know, real smooth and all that. Now, he like, man, he was like, so you ain't going to get in the car? I told him, I said, no, nah, I ain't getting in the car. You know what I'm saying? He's like, so what you want me to do? How I'm going to take you to get something to eat? I said, why don't you drop off this car, change your clothes, come back and pick me up. You know what I'm saying? And then we can go get something to eat. He I, he was like, I get a chance to come to the crib. Crib? Well, I'm home. I ain't say that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't say that. I told him, I said, no, you're not coming to my crib. I don't even know you that well. I say, you can pick me up at Subway. So when I tell him he could pick me up at Subway, man, you, Nate Windows is down. I hear loud and clear. I know you ain't trying to talk to my bitch. So I'm looking around and see who's talking to who. Because, I, you know, that's drama. I look up. I see Nate. Hat flopping, dress flowing in the wind, coming across the street, marching like Miss Sophia of color purple. You know what I'm saying? When Harpo, when she was trying to get to, you know, Sealy. If you told Harpo, but you know that part, he marching. And I'm like, oh my God. Now I know Nate know I'll stay in this, this halfway house. Now if he, Nate come over there, he's going to blow my spot up. And that's not what I want him to do. You know what I'm saying? So I roll my eyes up in my head and I shake my head. So why? I'm like, what's wrong with you? I was like, man, I said, I got this crackhead problem. I said, dude keep coming around here he's he's bothering me so wow look he like who all the time they like bitch you trying to talk to another nigga in front of me so why get out the car you know what i'm saying why get out the car he yo you know what i'm saying he yo you 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 overstepping your boundary dude so why coming around the car imagine he's tall he tall so he walking fast he well he ain't tired had to walk fast all the thing he did was take three steps his legs long you know what i'm saying so nate's standing there and he got this hat i can't take him serious because this hat is cocked over one of his eyes you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, get away from me. You know what I'm saying? So Nate getting close. He's like, I ain't going nowhere. He's like, you disrespectful. I'm talking about his breath smelled like dude, 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 get away from me. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm like, while I walk up, he's like, yo, do we have an issue here? You know what I'm saying? The woman is telling you, get away from her. Why you not moving? So he, listen, Nate step back. Every time he moved, that head moved with him. Look one up and down. He, nigga, get out of my face. And brush Juan off like he was little. Juan felt disrespected. Juan pulled out his little club. Boom. You know what I'm saying? He, she said, get away from her. Do we have a problem? You know what I'm saying? And Juan, he fold his arms. You know what I'm saying? He's standing a little bit in front of me and he looking at Nate. He looking down at Nate. So <laughs> Nate look him up and down again like he little. Look all the way up at him. He said, man, you can have that bitch. You trying to get out the halfway house anyway. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't know if Nate Breath made it up to Juan's nose, but it damn sure made it over to mine. And I was just like, get away from me. Get away. Stop coming around me. Nate like, I bet. Be that way. And he, his breath just traveled, y'all. Listen, little speckles of spit, and I just knew my lip was going to break out. I'm like, yo. I'm like, if he come around me again, can you arrest him? You know what I'm saying? Um, Look. I don't like nobody knowing my business. You know what I'm saying? Once again, um, Juan was not um, a person that I want to share things with. You know what I'm saying? For one, he was a cop. So he was only good for one thing for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wanted JD. It is what it is. But I was just trying to get my feet wet. I don't know if y'all understand that or not, but it's my logic. It is my, it's not even an excuse. That's just how I am. Um, I know why I heard Nate say, you trying to get out the halfway house. I'm trying to figure out a lie in my mind to say, I don't know what he's talking about. And this is why I hate lying. Because when you tell one lie, you got to tell another lie, another lie, another lie, another lie. Have it go. Why acted as if he did not hear what Nate said. So Juan turns around to me and he, you know, he's standing, he's towering over me and he walk up close to me. You know, he put his little club back on his thing and he, he 
you know, he looking down at me and I'm looking up at him. And this could have been a perfect movie moment, y'all. It really could have been a perfect movie moment. But he got ready to kiss me, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to see, you know, I wanted to, I closed my eyes a little bit because, you know, you kiss with your eyes closed. I want to see a little bit how he looked when he kissed me. So I had my eyes peeking and he was coming in, but his mouth looked like a booty hole, y'all. And I couldn't take him serious because it looked like a booty hole with tissue stuck because his teeth were so messed up. So when he got ready to kiss, come in for the kiss, I leaned back. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you're not kissing me with the booty hole. I don't give, I don't, I don't care. I just, you don't have to, you don't have to crinkle your lips up to give me a kiss. Kiss normal. You know what I'm saying? I back up. I tell him, not yet. Be patient. I ain't want to tell him you just creep me out. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. He, I, 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 well, well where I'm meeting you at? Where I'm meeting you at? I say, you going to meet me at Subway. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. He said, I'll be back about 30, 45 minutes to pick you up. I said, okay, I'll be down there waiting on you. Have it go. I watch him get in his squad car. He pulls off. I look around and see if I see Nate. I don't see Nate. I walk down the subway, which was only like a, a few little steps down. I walk down the subway, go up in there, speak to everybody. They're kind of busy or whatever. I sit at a seat facing a window. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm waiting on my ride to come get me. I really ain't got nothing to say. Now, while I'm sitting there, I'm sitting at this table that's right in front of the window. I can see everything on the outside just like everybody can see everything on the inside. While I'm sitting there, I see a girl who stole them sandwiches the other day, the bearded lady. And I'm blue. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's sliding past. So, you know, she got, she got on the same clothes. She got on the same pants. She got her hair the same hairstyle. She ain't tried to comb it. Ain't tried to put no moisturizer on it or nothing. And that beard is still there. She ain't tried to shave it off. None of that. She ain't tried to wax it. None of that. Um, She got a book bag on. She's sliding past and she looking in Subway. You know what I'm saying? So, when she looking Subway, she looking me. Me and her make eye contacts. I see her. She see me. You know what I'm saying? So, when she looking me, she put a smirk on her face. I didn't like her putting a smirk on her face with them rotten teeth she got in her mouth. Uh, for the simple fact, you think you did something big. So I, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, get out of my face. You know what I'm saying? So she keep going. Huh? At least she drive on that with ride on, or skate on down the street. You know what I'm saying? Um, she come back a few minutes later and she, you know, she look back up in Subway and I do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? She keep going. I, about 30 minutes later, um, Juan pulls back up. I'm sitting there, so I see him pull up. Um, he, he got his music on, everything. I get up, I leave out, and go outside and get in the car. He didn't get out the car to to um, open the door and all this other stuff. So when I get in the car, instantly I get an attitude. Why did I get an attitude? Couple reasons. One, um, he played NBA, um, I'm sorry, he playing Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? You're too grown to be playing Soldier Boy. Like, you're too old to be playing Soldier Boy. I'm sorry, I don't got nothing against him, but you're too old to be playing Soldier Boy. Like, you, you, have to go. Um, another thing, he's sitting in there and he's eating McDonald's. Now, the whole purpose of me not eating, you know what I'm saying, is because you said you were going to take me out to eat. So this is real inconsiderate of you to be pulling up here, um, blasting Soldier Boy, um, um, and, and, and eating some McDonald's and I'm starving. You know, I done told y'all this before. When I'm hungry, I'm angry. So he done, he done, he done messed up. You know what I'm saying? He done messed up because he done messed up with my food. So he, what's wrong with you? I'm like, so you couldn't wait to eat? He, no, nah, I was real hungry. So I wasn't? You know what I'm saying? I wasn't. He was like, yeah. He was like, so I don't think, look, he, I don't think I should take you to that restaurant no more because I ain't even going to eat no food. He was like, but he was like, we can stop and get you some. I'm like, it's it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? He, where you want to go? So I'm like, take me to the nearest spot. The nearest spot was Wendy's, which was directly across the street. So he take me over to Wendy's. We get in the line. I ordered me a four for four. You know what I'm saying? I ordered me a four for four. Now, when we get up to the window, I just know he finna pay for this four for four. You know what I'm saying? Baby, a four for four ain't number four dollars with some change. So I know he finna pay for this four for four, four, four considering the fact you done had me sitting here waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? Um, he look over at me when the lady tell him the total. I should have got out the car right then and there. You know what I'm saying? I really should have got out the car right then and there. Uh, <laughs> look, I go in my wallet, hand a five dollar bill. You know what I'm saying? Um, when the change come back, y'all, he take my change, put it in his cup holder.
I should have got the car right, didn't know. He like, yeah, so so where you want me to take you to? I say, man, I got to get some stuff for my people. I was like, can you take me to Burlington, you know? He tell me, not a problem. So I'm eating my food, you know what I'm saying? I don't know this dude. I don't want to eat in front of him. So I'm nibbling on my food, knowing my stomach is like, rah, rah, rah. I'm, <laughs> I'm eating all cute and stuff. He's trying to talk to me. I really ain't got no rap for him, you know? So he turned up Soldier Boy and he rapping hard. I guess this is his favorite artist. If Soldier Boy, if you listening, just know this man is one of your biggest fans. I'm blue. I'm blue. We get to Burlington, you know what I'm saying? We go our separate ways. Our separate ways. Um, one of the gifts that I thought about getting Miss C and Mike was a picture frame. I know um, she's talking about her grandkids and everything. So let me get her a nice picture frame. You know, something something nice and cool and sweet and from the heart. Something thoughtful or a painting for the wall or some vases or something. So I head over to Home Decor. I don't know where dude going. You know what I'm saying? Um, I go and I'm taking my time looking through stuff in the Home Decor apartment. Decor. Par apartment. Department. You know what I'm talking about. Department. Looking for different pictures and stuff. You know, going through stuff. Have it go. When I get down to the end of the aisle, I see this beautiful, beautiful 3D uh, um, um, contrast picture. It's of a, a queen of spades. It's, it's in a, a really thick frame. It's a very, very beautiful, well put together um, abstract painting. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at it, and I'm talking about I'm so amazed because I'm looking at all the details in this picture. And I'm thinking, like, how did they put that together? And I'm trying to, you know, dissect it and everything. Have it go. I hear footsteps behind me. So I look over. I see it's, it's one. You know what I'm saying? So he come up. I turn my head back around look at my look at this paint. The paint is 250 You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm not buying Miss C nothing for 250 you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I was trying to spend a couple of dollars, but not nothing for 250 Plus, I want that for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in my head having my own conversation. He comes up behind me, wraps his arms around my waist. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not leaning back and I'm not leaning back into him. You know, like the whole little snuggle. I'm not doing it because I don't want to snuggle with you. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 you done messed up two times today. I don't want to snuggle with you. So he see that I'm kind of, you know, tense or whatever. So he decides to untense me. He goes ahead, put his neck, I me mean his head down to my neck and start trying to, you know, snuggle in my neck and sniffing me and everything. Now he decides that he wants to kiss me, but I don't know who taught this dude how to kiss. Maybe he was kissing with a school of piranhas or what, but he was scratching my neck with them raggedy teeth in his mouth. You know, who kisses with that? Now, listen, first time you tried to do the booty hole mouth. Your booty hole mouth. Now you want to scrape my neck. All the time, my neck is already tender because it's I've been bent on this side. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, yo, you know, I'm like, I don't do PDA. Lying. Just not with you, I won't. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't do PDA. He on my bed, on my bed. And he licks my neck. I guess he thought the lick was going to turn me on. I'm like, yo, don't, don't do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? He, oh, my bad, my bad. You really standing on it? Yeah, I'm standing on it. You know what I'm saying? So I keep looking at the picture, and I'm trying to get your attitude down because, ma'am, you don't know where you at, and you got to get back to work in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get your attitude down because this dude still got to drop you off. Have it go. I'm looking at the pain, and he, you like that? I say, yeah. He like, man, that paint nice. I say, yeah. I say, they really, you know, did a good job on this paint. So he was like, he was like, man, that paint look like you. I said, it do look like something I, I I have in the crib. He, you know what? Get it. He was like, that's that's for you. He was like, get that. He was like, I want you to have it. I want you to have it. So I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm homeless. I'm in a, a halfway house. I can't take no paint up in there. Then my, my a second little thought came in, like, well, if he bad for you, you finna get a crib soon. If he bad for you, you can put this at your me house until, you know what I'm saying, until it's uh, uh, time for you moving your apartment. That'll be the first thing that you put up on your wall. You know what I'm saying? So I'm reasoning with myself. He, yeah, get that. I want you to have that. I want you to have it. So I was like, you really want me to have it? He was like, yeah, I want you to have it. Listen, this painting is heavy it's thick so i go over there thinking he finna help me get it down nope 
know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, cool. I carry it. I get it down. You know what I'm saying? It's heavy. It's big. It's tall. And I got my, I got both hands on the side, on each side. And I got it on my foot. And me and him walking up to the register. You know what I'm saying? My, I'm using my foot to help, you know, lift it up, leveraging and everything. Have it go. Me and him stand in line and we making small talk. I got to be honest. I done fixed my attitude a little bit because he finna buy my pain. You know what I'm saying? He finna buy my pain. Man, you, I done forgot all about Miss C and Mike. You know what I'm saying? So we talking about little stuff around the store, how the, the cashier just slow. It's a shame they only got one cashier that's that in the third. We stand in line maybe five, ten minutes the whole time we talking. You know what I'm saying? It's the most conversation we have had this whole time. All right, listen. So it's almost time for us to get up to the register. It's like one person ahead of us and the conversation that got quiet and we just standing there waiting. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking off. I'm rocking side to side. You know I got my pain. Have it go. The dude in front of us go. He ring up. He leave, you know what I'm saying? So I'm walking up to the register with this paint and everything. And I got to lift this paint because the price tag is down at the bottom. And she got to scan it. Now I'm right here. I'm at this register waiting on Juan to help me lift this paint up. I turn around. Um, ain't no one. One ain't nowhere in sight. I ain't seen this nigga walk off. I ain't seen none of this, y'all. I ain't seen nothing. So I was like, you know, but he, he didn't disappear. But I know he got to pay for this. So I'm like, hold on. I'm like, my dude, listen, my dude, he went off to the store. She was like, okay. I stood there 10 minutes. Man, it's only one cashier. The line is long. I'm still standing there waiting for one. So the lady tell me, she said, miss, she was like, I got to ring up. You know what I'm saying? It's just me. I hope you understand. She wasn't trying to be nasty. I was like, you know what? Go ahead. I'm tight. You know what I'm saying? I go on my wallet, put out my money, get a pain. It was 267 with tax. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, blue because I didn't come to the store to buy no damn painting, especially no $267 painting. You know what I'm saying? You talking about you want me to have it. How the hell you disappear? How you disappear when it's time to pay? So I'm tight. It's like, yo, whenever I get dropped off, I will not see this dude again. It just is what it is. Check this out. Boom. I'm walking out the door and I feel like an idiot. I feel like a stone cold idiot. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I walk out the sliding doors with my little painting and everything, he's standing out on the curb. You know what I'm saying? Looking me up and down and everything like he's sexy. I walk right past him. Listen, I was so heated. I'm walking in the wrong direction. I done walked up to the wrong damn car. I'm blue. He, I'm parked over here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I get over there. We get to the car. He don't open my door, nor do he try to help me put this pain in the car. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking to myself, I can't mess with this dude. Nope. It's something about him. He he probably, I, nope. I won't do it. Listen, I didn't care if I scratched the leather off his seats. I hurry up and shove that paint up in that car, closed the door as best as I could, got in, put my seatbelt on, and kept my hands in my lap. Now, he trying to make small talk or whatever when he done turned soldier boy down. You know what I'm saying? And he uh he trying to touch my, my leg and everything. I keep sliding his hand off of me. Don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? Don't touch me. He was like, oh, dang, it's like that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking out the windows and everything. Now, check this out. Um, He pulls up into, it's, look, next door to Subway, it's a parking lot. He could have easily pulled up on the curb and I could have got out. You know what I'm saying? He pulls up into the parking lot, turn his car around, and he he going to sit there for a few minutes. I'm like, what you sitting here for? I was like, I'm finna get out. He's like, yeah, you still got a few minutes before you got to be at work. I'm trying to spend some more time with you. No, you don't get that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, I'm, I really want to go, you know, clock in. He was like, man, you sure you don't want me to take you to the crib so you can drop off this paint? Dude, stop trying to get to my house. I don't have a house. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to figure out where I live. You would never know. You know what I'm saying? I said, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Have it go. Um, he don't want to unlock the doors. So I'm like, look, I'm finna get up out of here. I pull the handle, you know what I'm saying? Pull the handle and put my, my one of my foot. My I put my, my my right foot out the door. You know what I'm saying? So I can get out. Now I'm halfway out the car. He put his hand around the back of my neck and snatches me back in. So when he snatches me back in, I fall back. I know it's the ugliest fall back because my mouth wasn't ready. All right. Have it go. Um, he, 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 when I fall back, he's over me. Listen, he sucks my lips. <laughs> but it wasn't a normal suck. He sucked my lips with his lips, but his teeth scraped the top part of my, 
my lip and the bottom part of my lip. Once again, I don't know who taught him how to kiss. Maybe it was a piranha. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I push him off. You know what I'm saying? Get off me. You know, he, you ain't never been kissed like that. You damn skippy, piranha mouth. You damn skippy. Don't, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I tell the man, I, I don't kiss on the first dates. He, I, I, I respect it. I respect that. Baby, I got out that car, slammed that door, opened that back door, grabbed my picture up out of there, put it up on my arm, and struggled with it all the way up in, in, in Subway. Jamie see it. She like, what's this? I said, look, can you put this at your house? You know what I'm saying? Until I get a crib. I was like, I just bought a paint. She was like, girl, this is beautiful. She was like, I got you. I said, okay. Look, I go to the back. Um, I go to the back, and then I come back so I can go to the bathroom. Um, y'all, listen, my mouth breaks out. It breaks out easily, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I don't know people. Um, I don't know where his teeth done been. You know, I don't. his teeth has been through a struggle. I look in the mirror, I got scrape marks on the top of my lip and the bottom of my lip. I look like I was in a tribe. I didn't appreciate that. They red, you know what I'm saying? I'm light-skinned. Now people gonna think somebody done scratched my face out. It look like I done been attacked by a cat. Like, why would you do that to me? You know what I'm saying? You don't kiss nobody like that, your mother. Should have told you that, stupid. However it goes, um, you know, I don't got much to say to the staff as they leaving. I know I'm finna be there tonight. They told me that the day had been slow. They pretty sure tonight gonna be slow. I said, okay, cool, fine. Check this out. Um, I only had like six or seven customers in a three-hour span. You know what I'm saying? Um, is is the, the traffic slowing down? All type of stuff. Look, check this out. I'm in there. Scrolling on Facebook, going through Instagram, minding my business. I hear the door snatches open. Whew. The way the door snatch open, I already knew who it was. It was that crazy lady. You know what I'm saying? So when the door snatch open, I look around. She's standing there. She's standing there in the middle of the door. So I'm like, okay, get out. You know what I'm saying? So she is not getting out. And she's standing in the door. I'm pretty sure flies and stuff is coming in. Get out. So it's like, okay, like, lady, you really want to test me. Have it go. I got the broom right there. And in my head, I'm going to take this broom, hold it up, and take the bristles and hit her all in her forehead with it. You know what I'm saying? So I grab my broom, and I start, I leave from behind the counter. I start walking towards this lady. The whole time I'm telling her, get out, get out, get out. You're trespassing. Baby, by the time I get to the middle of the floor, by the time I get to the middle of the floor, this lady, when she's standing there, she got a hand in her bag, her book bag. You know what I'm saying? Uh, by the time I get to the middle of the floor, she done pull her hand out and she got something in her hand. It's a lot of it. And she throws it. Now, this is the thing. It hits me right here. Um, I could have ducked, but my hand, listen, if you throw, I, my, my reflex is off. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to duck stuff a lot. So I don't know how to duck quick. So I duck. When stuff is already on me. You know what I'm saying? Or if I'm already hit. It just is what it is. That's why Dolores done got me a couple of times. Um, It hits me right here. You know what I'm saying? It smacks me. And it's soft. And it's mushy. And it's a couple of hard little things up in there. I don't know what this is. You know what I'm saying? So I grab my face. Because I just got hit in my face with something. I'm tired of getting hit in my face with stuff, y'all. It is what it is. So, listen. I don't know what she do. But I smell it. <sighs> Baby, when I pull my hand down. It's a power of doo doo. She had hit me with some doo doo. This bitch hit me with some doo doo, y'all. It was it was a power. Who carries doo doo around with them? Yeah, she crazy. She told me that, but I didn't look. Look, y'all stay tuned. Be smooth.